Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Diary from Tech Android and in this video, let's take a look at EUI 5.9.23 as for the Leica LE2. So in order to flash this EUI ROM, you need to have a device with unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed. So if you haven't done that already, I will leave a link to a tutorial video of mine on how to do that. So do check that out. So in order to flash this ROM, you need three zip files, the ROM, Google Apps and the EUI 19ES. Vivo LTE modem zip file. So I will leave a link to all the three zip files in the description below. So make sure that you download all of them and place them in the internal storage of your device. So the reason why we are using a custom recovery instead of uh, of the stock recovery is because this ROM is not an official ROM. It's a Chinese beta ROM modified by some Chinese developer. So that's why you cannot flash this ROM using the stock recovery. So now what you have to do is power off your device. And reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and power button together. So once in recovery mode, select wipe and now select advanced and now select cache, Dalby cache data and system and now select swipe to wipe now go back select install now select the rom file and select swipe to flash And now select reboot system. So if you are wondering why we did not flash the Google Apps zip file now, it's because if you flash the Google Apps zip file along with the ROM file, you cannot go through the initial setup process. That's because the Google verification Google account verification prevents you from completing the setup process. And do remember that the first boot into this UI ROM is gonna take abnormally long time, but that's just normal, so just don't panic and don't do anything crazy. So now we have successfully booted into EUI 23S. So now what you have to do is complete the whole setup process of adding your Leico account and things like that. So I'll do what I have to do and I'll be back. So now I have completed the setup process as you can see. So now what you have to do is power off your device and reboot into recovery mode once again. So now we are back into recovery mode again and now what you have to do is select install and select the Google Apps file now and swipe to flash.
and now go back and select the modem file we will do modem file and swipe to flash and now select wipe cache slash dalvik cache and swipe to wipe and now select reboot system So now we have successfully booted into EUI23S after installing the Google Apps file. So now as you can see Play Store is working just fine. So now in terms of what has changed, so when you compare this with EUI5.9.20S, nothing much has changed. So if you haven't already watched my feature focus video on EUI5.9.20S, so do check that out immediately to know what are the things that has changed and now in comparison to EUI 5.9.20s only some few basic things has changed like in the Wi-Fi settings now we you can share the details of a, of the Wi-Fi connection which you are connected to with another device by sharing sharing your QR code that is available within the Wi-Fi settings itself And in the Bluetooth settings, as soon as you toggle on Bluetooth, there is a default timer for about 2 minutes and what it does is for that 2 minutes your device will be visible to all nearby Bluetooth devices and after that your device will not be visible. You have to manually make it visible once again. And in the dialer application, the call buttons are now oval instead of rectangle which was in the previous versions and in the in call window the end button is also oval instead of rectangular shape which was which we saw on previous versions and last but the most um, useful change is in the phone manager application there's a new app acceleration option so what it does is whatever application you have enabled within this setting will whenever you launch that specific application your device will enter into performance mode thereby allocating all the available resources like performance and RAM to that specific application so that it will run without any issues. So apart from that nothing much has changed everything else is just as the same as it was on EUI 5.9.20s and regards to VOLT, VOLT is a bit buggy so when I used the ROM without flashing the modem file VOLT tends to disappear at times like every 10 to 12 hours VOLT will be disappearing and that's why I I flashed that modem file and it does not fix the bug completely but the bug occurs very rarely after flashing the modem file like um, maybe about after reboot or something the VLD will disappear but a quick workaround is to enable and disable flight mode and then the VLD will be back online. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button for more videos hit the subscribe button and if you are already subscribed do hit that bell icon right next to that subscribe button and to stay updated with the channel follow us on dragon to droid on twitter and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya